In this video, I want to go through an example of finding combinations. Uh, so three representatives are chosen from a teaching group consisting of 13 boys and nine girls. Calculate first the total number of ways they can be chosen. So once again, think about the context of the problem. Does it matter in which order I choose the three representatives? And the answer is no. Okay, so that's why we're looking at combinations here. So the total number of ways they can be chosen, well, we've got 13 boys and 9 girls, and so there are 22 students altogether. So out of the 22 students, okay, we want to pick three representatives. Okay, so 22 choose three. So 22, NCR button, 3, and we get 1,540. OK, let's just change my pen. OK, all right, got a better one this time. OK, so calculate the number of ways of getting each of these selections. So three boys and zero girls. So if I want to select three boys, then I'm looking just at how I can select three boys out of 13 boys. So I would look at 13, choose three, okay? And I would then multiply that by the number of ways that I can choose zero girls. So, there are nine girls in total, and I want zero of them. So 13 choose three, so 13 NCR three, gets me 286, and nine C zero is one. Okay, so in other words, how many different ways can you pick zero uh, girls from nine possible students? It's going to be zero. So, or sorry, it's going to be one. So any number here, and you get C is zero, you will find that it is one. Two boys and one girl. So out of the 13, I want two boys. And out of the nine, girls, I want one. And I multiply those together. So 13 NCR2 is 78. And 9 NCR1 is 9. So 78 times 9 is 702. Now what you should find is that any time that this number is 1, then NCR of well, 9 NCR1 will be 9, uh, 10 NCR1 will be 10, 1,000 NCR1 will be 1,000, OK? So just keep that in mind when you're doing these calculations. So now I've got, out of 13, choose 1, which I know is going to be 13. And then out of 9 girls, I want to choose 2. So I have 13 times 9 NCR2. Is 36. So 36 times 13 is 468. And then finally, we have zero boys. So 13 NCR zero, which I know is going to be one. And out of the nine girls, choose three. So we have one times nine NCR three. So one times 84 which is 84. <clears throat> so these are the number of possible ways of selecting these people. Okay, So it makes sense that when we're looking at the number of ways of selecting zero boys and three girls, if you think of this as a probability, the likelihood of ha that happening is quite small. And that's why there aren't that many possible ways of doing it in comparison with these, OK? So keep in mind that the actual number itself makes sense. 